which of the following best completes the passage? Uh, sales of a new chocolate bar were considerably boosted recently by an advertisement that featured a classic rock song. The candy manufacturer's decision to also use classic rock songs in commercials for its older and more popular products in the host of boosting profits is not based on the assumption that what? Um, so every one of these is going to be an assumption that they have except for one. A, thanks to the new adver advertising strategy, all of the company, company's older products will sell at least as well as the new chocolate bar. Well, they, they hope to boost profits. I don't think they necessarily hope to have it sell at least as well as the new chocolate bar. I don't think it needs to compete with it. It just needs to boost profits in general. Let's check the other ones, though. Are they assuming sales of a particular product can be increased by a memorable or catchy advertisement campaign? Yeah, that seems to be the case if they're using classic rock for all of their products. Um, use of classic rock songs will be more commercially effective than the advertising techniques currently used by the company for its older products. They must be assuming that, otherwise they wouldn't have changed it. Uh, the majority of, cons of customers who buy one kind of candy bar from the company will not stop buying other candy bars made by the same company. I, they are also assuming that. They wouldn't be able to boost profits otherwise. Um, D or E, the licensing costs associated with using classic rock songs and commercials will be substantially offset by the increased profits resulting from those commercials. Well, they must be assuming that, otherwise they wouldn't have paid the money for the classic rock songs. So therefore, choice A um, is the only thing they're not assuming. They are not assuming that the older products will actually compete directly with the new chocolate bar.